morning, learners. So welcome to another time in my English studies class. I hope you had a great weekend. Previously, we've been looking at other things in English that we were asked to do, some activities on some of the topics like reading the passage from the various English textbooks that we have. That's what we've been doing. So for today, we'll be looking at responding to WH questions. That is giving answers to questions that begins with WH. Responding, giving answers to questions that begins with WH. The letters WH questions involve the use of words that begins with WH. As in the letters WH. We, we, we ask questions on them. Where? What? When? Why? Who? Which? Who? Whose? These are all WH questions. Or rather, WH letters. But now we are saying that there are questions that begin a sentence. That is why it's written, the first letter of the word is written in capital letters. All these are used to ask questions in the following ways. One, who? This is used to address people. We use who to address people. Who is at the door? Two, which? We use which for animals and things. For example, which dog is yours? Which of the bags belongs to, belong to you? Three, what? This is used for things in animals. E.g., what time is it? What kind of animals is that? Also, what is used to find out things about people? That is, when you want to know things, or what is happening in somebody's life, you ask, what is happening? Why, I tell you, what is your name? What color is your chair? You are asking for something about the person. So you say, gee, what is your name? What are you doing? Or what did you do? What have you eaten? Then four, where? For place, you ask the position of things. This is used for places, e.g., where should we go? Where do you keep your pen? Where do, where do you live? Where have you been? So you tell us when you are responding to questions like that, you tell us where you have been. Five, when, for time. It is used for time, e.g., where are you coming to my house? When will you go home? Six, why? This is used to ask for a reason. Because of something happening. E.g., why are you crying? Why is the class noisy? Seven, whose? This is used to show possession or ownership. What belongs to someone? Whose bag is this? Whose table is that? Now remember that there is always a question mark at the end of all WH questions. All the village questions, the first letter, that is the W, begins with a capital letter. You write it in a capital letter. And at the end of the questions, there are there is a question mark. Now let's look at examples in sentences. Question, what did you eat last night? Answer, I ate vegetable soup and boiled yam. Question, who is standing behind the door? Answer, it is Isabel. Question, where has your mom gone to? Answer, she has gone to the market. Question, which animal has black and white stripes? Answer, it is the zebra. Question, why were you late to school? Answer, we were held up in a traffic jam. So you can see that at the end of each question, there is a question mark. You do very well to copy this into your English new study. In the next class, we will look at the activities on them and also how you respond to WH questions. Thank you and have a wonderful day.